Hello, this is Brighton Gamer. Welcome to my PHP tutorial. On the previous tutorial, I was showing you how to upload any file type to your database. So today I'm going to be showing you how to retrieve the files and create a download link that downloads straight to your computer. Uh, and what you will need, you will need your index uh, file from the previous tutorial. If you haven't seen my previous tutorial, please uh, check it out on my playlist. You will find it there it's quite uh, straightforward and uh, explanatory so you won't have any problems if you have any problems you may email me or uh, comment below so what we'll need here we will need to delete everything from the index file and leave the HTML structure and also you will need your previous database called files and your table called uploads so I took it upon myself to add a few files I have one image, one mp3, two zip folders, and one dll. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to open my php tag, uh, close my php tag. Now we're going to include the database. This is how you include the database because now we've included the database all you need to do we need to create a, a variable that gets the information in uh, from our table which is uh you can come up with your own but i used uh get files get files from uploads which is the table name uploads now we have to run uploads uh i like to i like to make my variables very explanatory so that I don't forget what I was using it for uh, my SQLI query we're running a query now uh, connection uh, and get files close it so while uh, so while so while rows rows files this is for running the information uh, displaying it over and over again so that it doesn't really display one thing so it displays everything that is in the table it doesn't display the first one and then uh, it cancels it displays everything so let's say row files equals to mysql mysqli underscore h array which is equals to run files now sorry it's run file uh, small errors uh, now what we want to run is we want to run want to fetch a file id file id uh, fetch file file name uh, file name uh, so I forgot something here uh, have this here file file underscore type hmm. the number of errors f type file type uh, file close underscore so now we have to state to what we should do with the information why when we get it so when we get the information when you've retrieved the information please echo it please display it like this this is where you you specify how you want the information to be displayed 
this is a, you can style it or you can do whatever or you can actually display it using a function uh, read more about functions they make it make they make programming quite easy um, a lie so before we display anything let's just run it and see how it runs if there are any errors so we can fix the errors while we still have time uh, upload okay there are no errors nice just shows the the dots from the list from the li uh, we can just say style uh list listing is it listing style uh styling i don't know uh list style none i'm not sure let's just check if it's gonna work uh pro proper proper it works proper and then we're gonna have f name f type f control s to save let's run our program error line 23 uh what did we do on line 23 what did we do wrong what did we do wrong typo so you see how it displays there is no uh download button there's nothing just shows everything that is inf all the information that is there so what we're going to do now we're going to create a download button uh for okay uh, we have to close it here uh, let's call our download button retrieve so when it's like this it won't do anything it's not gonna work file not found so what we have to do now we have to specify where this file is so by that we say it's an up loads slash so it's in up it's in, it's in uploads so we save now let's try see it works but now we don't want it to display uh whatever we want to download we want it to, we want it to download at the same time from a click of a button so what if we do you have to specify here after the the uh the directory you have to specify by saying download put download here that uh, tells it what to do when it has been clicked now I'm gonna click it one more time and then it downloads voila it works so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel uh, like my video share my video stay tuned for more videos if you want the source code I'll leave the link below uh also visit my site for more source codes uh also stay tuned to for my next video bye bye